I'd like to show you how a synthesizer works. First, you have some oscillators and noise generators. These constantly make sounds whether told to or not. They never stop. To add some order to our music, we control this machine using a keyboard. These used to send out CV pitch and gate signals, but I'm using a comparatively new keyboard that sends out MIDI information, so I'm running it through a MIDI to CV converter to get those old fashioned signals. CV means control voltage. As you might imagine, the pitch control voltage uses the voltage to specify pitch. The synthesizer I'm using uses 1 volt per octave, so this lower C note is 0 volts, this C is 1 volt, this C is 2, and so on. If we divide 1 volt by the 12 notes in an octave, we can work out that each note is 0.083 recurring volts higher than the last, which a voltmeter confirms. By plugging the keyboard into a converter, and the converter into an oscillator, we can control its pitch, but it is still playing constantly. The gate tells the synthesizer when the keyboard has started and stopped playing. By plugging one of the oscillator's waveform outputs into an attenuator's audio input, and the keyboard's converter's gate output into the attenuator's control voltage input, pressing down a key on the keyboard makes the oscillator's waveform audible, and letting go of the key makes it quiet again. It's still playing, but now the attenuator is hiding it so we can't hear it anymore. Finally, this synthesizer is starting to sound like a real instrument. Even the case has something important, a bus that carries electricity to all the different modules. Not only does it power them, but it also carries the CV pitch and gate signals to all the modules. By using the bus access module, the CV pitch and gate signals can be sent to several different oscillators at once, so we can get a thicker, richer sound. We use a mixer to combine one output from each of these three oscillators and send this combination to the attenuator. This is already starting to sound as good as an organ, which is always either going full tilt or completely silent, but we can go one better and make it sound as expressive as a piano. First, we can use an envelope generator to make the note's volume grow and shrink over time. This one has four knobs, which I use to tell it how long to take to get loud, how long to take to get less loud again, how loud that sustained volume should be, and how long to take to go completely quiet again. Attack, decay, sustain and release. A, D, S, R. As it is so simple yet versatile, most envelope generators use the ADSR method. By patching the gate into the envelope generator, which the bus does for us, and patching the envelope generator's CV output into the attenuator, the notes can now wax and wane. By changing the positions of the ADSR knobs, we can make quick percussive sounds and slow pad sounds. We can also make sounds that have a quick percussive start and a slightly quieter sustained part, like a piano or guitar. My keyboard and MIDI to CV converter also send out a signal saying how loud each note is, called its velocity. By plugging the first attenuator into a second attenuator, 
This module has two attenuators in a single unit. And patching up the converter's velocity output into this second attenuator, I can now play loud notes, quiet notes, and anything in between. Finally, I can start to play expressive music. Perhaps the most characteristic, recognisable part of a synthesizer's sound is its filter, so let's add one of those. We can redirect the mixer's output into a filter, and the filter's output into that first attenuator, so that all the audio is going through this filter module. Just like coffee filters or any other kind of filters, this will take out some things while letting others pass through it. In the case of waveform filters, which are the kind that synthesizers use, Different frequencies, different parts of the sound, are what get to go along their merry way or get left behind based on how high or low they are. Just as the oscillator outputs different waveforms and the envelope generators can make different shapes, there are different kinds of filters. The most natural sounding type of filter is low pass, meaning you pick a frequency, known as the cutoff point, and only frequencies lower than that one are allowed to pass through. Less natural sounding, but just as interesting, is the high pass filter, which only lets frequencies higher than the cutoff point through. Band pass filters only let frequencies very close to the cutoff point through, blocking frequencies too far from it in either direction. and notch filters do the opposite of that, blocking frequencies near to the cutoff point and letting all the others pass. The most versatile filters can do all of these at once and have a separate output each for low pass, high pass, band pass and notch. This particular filter is unusual because it has one output for both the low pass and high pass sounds with a knob that lets you choose any ratio of the two. A ratio of equal parts low pass and high pass is how it achieves its notch sound instead of having a dedicated notch output. Even different filters that do essentially the same thing can sound quite different to one another due to the different ways they do it, so it can be useful to have a few different filters in a modular synthesizer to get a wide variety of sounds. Most filters have a CV input that changes the cutoff point. I have a second envelope generator that I like to plug into the filter's CV input so that it can sweep from quite high to quite low while a single note plays. There are other modules, such as low frequency oscillators, ring modulators, spring reverbs, and the wonderfully intimidating bucket brigade device. But the relatively simple combination of oscillators, mixer, envelope generators, filter, and attenuators can give you a very wide variety of sounds. In my opinion, this makes the synthesizer one of the most interesting instruments because with this one instrument alone you can produce entire pieces of music that sound like nothing on earth as my charming little friend can attest to.